All right, everyone, gather round, gather round. Thank you, thank you. Now, I'm sure that all of you have turned in your paperwork. You have, yes, wonderful, wonderful. All righty. My name is Mr. Jones. Yes, that is my name. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, I have four million three hundred and forty two relatives on this planet. All right, now that that's out of the way, there's a few things I'd like to go over before orientation comes to an end. Now, basically, we've decided to hire all of you here at the lumber yard. But, I just want to go over a few things which are very important. Yes, the young woman in the back with the purple hair. No, we really don't care what you wear to work as long as it's not any loose clothing that could get caught in the machines. Otherwise, your purple hair is going to be purple and red, if you know what I mean. We don't give a damn what color your hair is. We don't give a damn what color your skin is. All we give a damn about is that you show up to work, you don't have any loose-fitting clothing, you're not wearing any rings or facial jewelry that could get caught in the machines, that you do your job, that you don't complain unless it's something important, and we pay you higher than average wages in the rest of the state as far as lumber mills go. All right. Yes, the, um, yeah, um, I don't know if you're a man or woman, so just, oh, you're trans. Okay, once again, we don't care. Yeah, just come into work, shut up, do your job, don't wear loose clothing, facial jewelry, rings, or anything that can get caught in the machines, and you'll get along just fine. Well, yes, obviously some of the old timers are not going to accept you, but they're all professional, so just deal with it, okay? For any of you who have a problem with that, there's the door. Anyone want to leave? No? Okay. Yes, the um, young lady in the ugly hat. I'm sorry, but your hat is ugly. You have a question. Okay, uh, why am I speaking in very soft tones? Well, that's because here at Jacobson's Mill, Mr. Jacobson is in today. You will not be meeting him because he is in a foul mood. Usually when Mr. Jacobson is in a foul mood, people end up getting fired unless they're working very quietly as he walks by and not bothering him. So that is why I am speaking in a hushed voice, and I would advise all of you to do the same. No, Mr. Jacobson is not a hard ass. Mr. Jacobson is actually a good man who once again pays higher than average wages. But sometimes he gets into a really bad mood. And we can always tell when he's in a really bad mood because his lovely wife calls ahead and warns us before he comes into the factory or the mill or whatever the hell you'd like to call this place. I don't give a crap. But yes, so his wife gives us advance warning. He's coming in. That means when he arrives, 
we say hello, good morning. He will return the hello or good morning, and that's the extent of the conversation you want to have with him for the entire day. Yes, when he's in a bad mood, it lasts all day. Now, since we've covered the safety protocols again, let's talk about some of the products we make here at the mill. This is our most popular product. Yes, the young woman in the ugly hat. No, we don't make the bubble wrap. No. It's just fun to touch and play with. What we do make is what's underneath the bubble wrap. We ship these out individually wrapped. Individually wrapped. We ship these out. Inside we have, if I can get this out, inside we have a 12 inch by approximately one inch diameter wooden dowel. Very smooth, unpolished. As you can see, nice and smooth, nice and unpolished. Yes, this is our most popular product. Yes, the um, gentleman with the uh, handlebar mustache. That is a rather impressive looking mustache, by the way, for the modern era. Yes, go ahead. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, honestly, we have no clue why these are so popular. For some odd reason, they have always been popular ever since we started offering them. Uh, 12 inches long, one inch diameter. No one knows why these things are popular. They are. Well, that's the official company line. Let's face it, folks. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's 12 inches long, one inch diameter, made of smooth, hard wood. I mean, it's rather obvious why this thing is so incredibly popular all across this state, and we do ship nationally. I mean, it's rather obvious. Look at this thing. That's right. We do a surprising number of business to martial arts supply stores, specifically those that deal in Hapkido. This is the exact perfect length and diameter of what's called a fighting short stick in Hapkido. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what it is. We supply a lot of martial arts supply stores that specialize in Hapkido and they use this as a martial arts weapon, usually with one end drilled out and a piece of rawhide leather attached to it. 
That's right. This is a Hapkido short fighting stick, usually called a Dan Bong fighting short stick, very popular with martial artists who practice Hapkido. So we sell to martial arts supply stores, but we don't talk about it because in many states owning martial arts weapons is illegal. We don't sell martial arts weapons. We sell wooden dowels. That's the official company line, and you would be best to stick to it. All right, I want you all to come back here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. We will get you assigned to various places, and you will begin your on-site training. We will see you then. Again, keep your mouths shut about martial arts weapons. Okay? Good. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.